I, like I, I had a guy who used to work for me, Alex Chirpinoy, uh, and he created this beautiful project called Ergo. To me, that is the spiritual successor to Bitcoin. Ergo is really special because it has the same culture, it has the same mentality, and the technology is kind of like a, a natural evolution of what you would do if you knew about Bitcoin and you wanted to build the next big thing. So it's still a proof of work system, it's still a UTXO system, but he added UTXO with some smart contracts. It's this you know, Sigma protocol idea. On the proof of work side, see, Satoshi had this one CPU, one vote idea. So Alex tried to create non-outsourceable puzzles to make it impossible to have mining pools. And there's all these other beautiful little things. And he's this, he's this brilliant Russian programmer and he surrounded himself with all these other brilliant people. He has zero ego. He's like, he has negative ego. When you put him with a person with ego, your ego goes down, Yeah. right? And everything about Alex is always like, how do I solve this? How do I do that? And he gets legitimately excited when he meets somebody that he can collaborate with or learn from. That's where Bitcoin was in the beginning. Everybody set their egos aside, whether it was Hal Finney or whatever, and they would just say, how can I help? What can I do? And it was all about coming up with some cool new thing or solving some cool new problem. I don't see any of that in Bitcoin today. So Ergo, we viewed the same way. So we said, well, we have this extended UTXO model. The only thing that's as, as sufficiently close to it where we can beta test contracts is actually with Ergo. And Alex just was a little faster in getting certain things out because we, we were doing things in a slightly more rigorous way and slightly more expressive way. So we actually tested a stable coin and Oracle and other things on Ergo. And it has just incredible community. Mm -hmm. they, when we said, hey, we're coming here to work and build, the, oh yeah, we love work with you guys. This is so cool. Uh, the other thing is Alex used to work for us and he had this lovely project called Scorex and it was all about like a pedagogical framework for building blockchains. And if you want to do prototyping or academic research, it was great. It was super modular and it separated the consensus network and transaction layer from each other in just the right way so that you can make it modular and mix and max things. So you can put mm -hmm. secure Kademlia in or maybe a different network layer and a different pr a consensus protocol like proof of work to another proof of work and so forth. So we loved having that kind of IP sitting around because it gave us the ability to kind of play around with ideas in a matter of weeks instead of months or years. And then he just took that concept and he gave it away. The wave protocol was built on it. Uh, that was uh, Sasha Ivanov. He did that. And I think there's two or three other cryptocurrencies that were launched from Scorex. And then Alex took and that and built Ergo from it. So there was a nice intersection where there was overlapping technology with Ergo, with our technology. And the other thing was that the community was so open and friendly, it was just a no brainer. Just go in and start building some things there. Now, in terms of evolving ideas, the whole Sigma protocol idea is very different and it's very interesting. And um, there's a guy at a Boston University, um, his name will come to me in a segment, who, uh, who came up with this stuff. And I think there's some merit there, especially as we start moving closer to this idea of blockchains being used to validate proofs. So it's just a way of expressing um, scripts. And uh, basically you get these concise representations of proofs and then you can say, okay, the script is correct, but you don't have to run the whole program. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a lot, I'm not doing the topic justice. There's a lot more to it, but that, that's the basic concept. And in a redeemer validator model, you need stuff like that because as, as your, your model gets more complex and a lot more things happen, it's, you don't want to have a situation where I have to run, replay a huge amount of the UTXO graph to be able to get to a point where I have the state of the system. You need some mathematical artifact that gives you the state of the system quickly. And then you're saying, okay, I now know how to, what, what computation thread I need to run to be able to get enough to be able to redeem uh, this transaction. So he just found a more compressed representation of it. And you know, the math doesn't matter. What matters is there's a whole beautiful field that thinks about this type of stuff. And it was never once linked before into our industry. Hmm. The brilliance of Alex was to actually realize you could do that and pull those things together. And it may actually have some merit, but by no means is he the only guy that does this stuff. There's actually uh, other approaches in verified computing uh, that have explored that. Yeah, he spun out and created Ergo. Uh, and it took about two years to write all the Ergo code and bring it out. And it has a lot of great ideas. It has kind of its own version of extended UTXO. It has um, its own asset standard. It has something called Sigma protocols for smart contracts. And actually it's the only non-outsourceable proof of work system. So there are no mining pools in, uh, in Ergo. It's a proof of work system without that. So really a technological marvel in many respects. And it reflects about eight years of knowledge that Alex has amassed as uh, both a researcher and a developer. And it's written in Scala, super concise code. And it blows my mind that the market cap is where it's at. It should be a top 10 coin or top 15 coin.
Uh, but you know, it shows you that marketing and liquidity matters just as much as the uh, the research. And Macaulay is learning that with Algorand. Um, and so, uh, so anyway, uh, because they have similarities to what we're planning with Cardano, we do things a little differently. But there's enough similarity. Uh, we're actually using it as a beta test for some of the concepts that we're going to be bringing to Plutus when the Plutus testnet comes out. The nearest analogy I can give you, a long time ago, I'm old enough to remember that Microsoft, when they were going with uh, the Xbox 360, they needed a development environment for the Xbox 360 and touch computers. So, uh, so that's basically what's going on here is that we're kind of using Ergo as our version of Apple in this case to beta test some of the launch software that we're planning for Cardano. And when the Plutus testnet comes available in March to April, uh, then we'll be able to take HUSD and these other products and put them on and stress test uh, yeah, Plutus with it, be able to bring it to market. What does the Ergo connection mean? So for those of you who don't know, uh, Ergo is a, an experimental blockchain project. There are some cryptocurrency projects that are intended to go conquer something, like Hydera Hashgraph. They're like, we will own business or Fabric. We're going to be the permission chain or Ethereum. We are the smart contract chain and we'll own all smart contracts. Or EOS, we're the chain that takes all your money and doesn't give it back. Uh, but anyway, levity aside, every chain has a stick. And so ergo shtick is that you have this incredibly brilliant team led by Alex Chirpano. He used to work with us and still occasionally publishes papers uh, with us. And uh, basically he started with a project called Scorex, where he was saying, can I build a framework to construct cryptocurrencies? And in fact, two cryptocurrencies were launched to my knowledge from Scorex, probably more. Um, Waves was launched and ergo was launched from it. But basically, Ergo is an experimental cryptocurrency to study concepts like non-outsourceable puzzles, which means you can't do mining pools, uh, things like Sigma protocols used in scripting, uh, things like uh, proof of no pre-mine, things like uh, UTXO decay. So you can actually melt down uh, small balance UTXO things. So a lot of these things that have been floating around in literature for a while or Alex had come up with, uh, basically, he created something extremely interesting to go and play around with that. Now, it's a Russian project. It doesn't have a lot of marketing inside the United States and other areas, and it doesn't have the liquidity it really deserves. Uh, but it, what appears happens is that Amergo and Ergo, Amergo Ergo, got together and they have some sort of JV where Amergo is going to list the Ergo token on the Euroi wallet, making Euroi a multi asset wallet and many more to come, I suspect. Uh, and uh, basically, they're going to use Ergo as an experimental test bed to go and play around with. A lot of concepts. Uh, so anything that they do there, uh, it, it's basically at a, a low risk place to experiment and play with that if it's very successful could work its way eventually into the Cardano ecosystem. So it's pretty exciting from that perspective. And uh, we've invited the Ergo guys to come to the virtual summit July 2nd, 3rd and uh, play around uh, with uh, Ergo. Now, Ergo doesn't do social physics, by the way, it's serious. You're thinking of Endor. But anyway, we, uh, we've invited them to come to the IWHK Summit. At some point, they want to launch a stable coin, and there's already a DEX, and they got big plans for a small team. And I love the code, love the ideas, and one of these days, I'll take a larger position in Ergo and you know, build up the, the ecosystem. It is really a shame that that's not a top 25, top 50 project. It's really a shame, because frankly, the ideas in that project are significantly better, but it is what it is. Markets behave in mysterious ways. Ergo, not in the top 10. A, because there's not enough in circulation, and B, it's not on enough exchanges yet. But for, in terms of technology and utility, I think Ergo is definitely an amazing ecosystem, got great people, and I really like what Alex has done. Hey, Charles, you still think Ergo is a good project? Yeah, uh, I like Alex. I like the Ergo community. I've never wavered in that respect. And I've really enjoyed watching them succeed and grow and build stuff. Any news on what Ergo is doing with Emergo? Ergo, Emergo. We're probably going to work with them on a stable coin. Oops, did I just announce something? Oh, well, I guess I did. Who is the smartest guy in the blockchain industry? Hmm. You know, um, Alex Chirpanoi is probably one of the smartest guys in the industry.